Hi guys, this is Aubrey from Peace With Endo at peacewithendo.com joining you today in my kitchen at my supplement shelf. Thought I would share with you today the supplements that I take that help with my endometriosis, things that have helped me along my healing journey. Now, I should preface that my supplement shelf used to be an entire supplement cabinet when I first transitioned to a more natural path to healing endometriosis, I was taking a ton of supplements. And I think that's really easy to do when you're coming from a life of taking a pill. For me, it was Excedrin or Tylenol or Ibuprofen. That reaction to, I have pain, I have an issue, I'm gonna take a pill. And shifting from the pill to the supplement. So, Things have changed for me in acknowledging the fact that every supplement that we take has to work through the liver. And the liver is an extremely important organ in healing and we don't want to block it up with a lot of unnecessary supplements. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. We don't want to overdo it, but I definitely think there are some supplements that can help. So that being said, let's get started. Um, I want to start off with one of my favorite supplements. This is called a Vitalzyme. Vitalzyme is a blend of digestive enzymes that essentially help us to digest our food, helps to break down our food, helps to assimilate our food so what we eat is absorbed and comes out. Um, when we're not digesting our food properly, lots of issues can arise. Um, things get blocked up things don't move through. The intestinal tract is actually a huge source for systemic inflammation. So Vitalzyme helps with that and contains a magical enzyme called serapeptase. Serapeptase is an enzyme from the silkworm and it actually helps to eat away at scar tissue and at cysts. So what better addition for endometriosis? Now, Vitalzyme is kind of pricey and you can only get it online, so I know that a lot of ladies just opt to take serapeptase on its own, but if you can afford to purchase the entire digestive blend, definitely recommend it. This has helped me a ton. Okay? Um, next thing I've got here is free form of glutamine. L-glutamine is one of the most abundant amino acids in our body and is responsible for so many different important processes, um, including helping with inflammation. Now, when our body is constantly inflamed, like it is with endometriosis, then we use up the natural sources of L-glutamine in our bodies really quickly. So it helps to supplement and L-glutamine is supposed to help repair the intestinal lining, which is huge if you've got leaky gut. Um, now, in my opinion, I think there's a huge tie-in with leaky gut and endometriosis, especially if you've got a history of taking pills, like me. So um, if that's you, then I definitely recommend adding in L-glutamine as that can help with that. And it also helps to curb with sugar cravings, so huge bonus there. Next up, I've got omega-3 fish oil, a must-have in my opinion. Omega-3s are the precursor to anti-inflammatory hormones, so really helps with endometriosis. Now, recently I started to um, double up my fish oil intake, so what's recommended on here is 600 milligrams a day, so I actually take 1,200 milligrams a day. Now, I buy this brand from Costco, which is um, Alaskan salmon oil, so it's not farmed salmon, and I'm not a huge fan of sardines, which is what a lot of the fish oil capsules have in them, and I think that's what causes that gross, like, fishy burpee flavor, and these don't do that, so yay! <laughs> Right. Um, next up, I've got Mangista. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I read it. Uh, Mangista is an Ayurvedic herb, and it helps to detoxify our blood. It helps to keep the lymph moving, which is kind of like the detoxification highway in our bodies. It's how 
um, all the bad stuff, all the bad estrogens and the toxins release. So when the lymph gets clogged up, that's when a lot of issues can arise, things like headaches and bloating and PMS type symptoms. So it's helpful to keep the lymph flowing freely, but it also helps with our liver health. Um, Mangista also helps to toxify the thyroid, which is a huge bonus, especially for people like me. I've got Hashimoto's and my thyroid tends to swell up, especially when I get ingredients in my food, maybe problematic ingredients that sneak in, um, and my thyroid swells up. Mangista definitely helps with that. All right. Next up, I've got B propolis, propolis, however you want to say it. Um, B propolis, excellent source of B vitamins, which are huge for healing endometriosis. Now, um, this is something that I've recently added. My husband actually was having an allergy attack at the beginning of spring and didn't want to take, you know, classic Benadryl type drugs, so opted for B propolis and he took it for a couple of days and his symptoms were gone. So it helps with allergies, um, also helps, um, has said to help women with endometriosis get pregnant. Women that take this have a higher success rate. So if that's you, if you're on a similar journey, definitely consider adding in the B propolis. Now, speaking of fertility, I've been taking a multivitamin, a prenatal multivitamin by a company called New Chapter. And it's basically just a blend of organic um, fruits and vegetables. It's got all the essentials, um, folate, all the B vitamins, iron, iodine, magnesium, selenium, and zinc. All these things are actually really good for endometriosis. Um, I started taking these consistently a couple of months ago and have really noticed an improvement in my energy levels. So recommend finding yourself a good multivitamin. It doesn't have to be a prenatal, obviously, if you're not trying to get pregnant. Um, but what I like about these is that they're easy to digest. I've kind of had a hard time with multivitamins in the past, just tearing up my stomach. So I think it helps to have something that's more naturally based and to add in those things you may not always be getting from your food. All right. Um, next up, I've got cramp bark, which is an herb that helps with cramps. Who knew? Cramp bark, I've actually got it in a tincture form here, so I just take it and drop it into some water, drink it up. Helps with cramping. It's supposed to help relax the muscles in the uterus. So I know for me, um, part of, most of the painful part of my periods comes from those contractions in my uterus. So definitely helps with that. All right, next up is a supplement called Demonos. Demonos is awesome for any kind of bladder issues. So if you've got a pending urinary tract infection or if you just get kind of inflammation in your bladder, that is awful. Um, Demonos is a lifesaver. So what it does is it, cause, it creates a kind of a barrier on the bladder to keep away bacteria and to keep away toxins. So this has helped me a ton when I've had bladder flares. Um, it comes in capsules, also comes in a powder form, so you can just mix it in some water for more immediate relief. All right, um, next thing I've got here, um, it's actually called Colon Clear from my local wellness center. Um, it's a blend of Trifala extract, which is an Ayurvedic herb that stimulates digestion, that helps stimulate bile flow. And it also has aloe vera, which is also a great digestive um, supplement. So it helps to soothe the digestive tract, especially if you've got issues like IBS or something where it's an inflammatory type thing. Um, very helpful if things get stopped up. <laughs> so with this, I take a couple capsules before bed if there's any issues at the time. And when you wake up, it cleans you right out. All right. Um, next thing I've got here is maca, specific brand called Feminescence Maca Harmony. Uh, maca is an adaptogen that is supposed to naturally help to balance your hormones. And it works on the pituitary gland and on the adrenals to help balance things out. Now, maca, in my experience, is either a love-hate 
for women with endometriosis. Um, I started taking it um, in the beginning of my natural healing journey. I was taking it every day, um, took it consistently for probably six to nine months and found vast improvements. Energy levels was increased, um, increased libido, and the pain with my periods was lessened. So definitely had success with it. I did take a break from it as I didn't want to get um, dependent on it. Um, and after taking a break and getting back on it, I did notice that it caused me some anxiety, some kind of that, kind of like drinking a big cup of coffee, like that jittery feeling. So it does work on the adrenals. So if it's something you want to try out, I suggest starting with a low dose. And like I said, it doesn't work for everybody. So I know with a lot of women with endometriosis, it actually makes their symptoms worse. And it can actually cause an estrogenic effect in the body, whereas others, it's amazing. So it's something you have to experiment with. I had success with it at first, not so much now. I don't know what that's about, but um, that wraps up my shelf. I do have one more thing I want to share with you in my refrigerator. And that is a probiotic. Very necessary. Um, probiotics are very helpful for adding in good bacteria in the gut, which is huge for healing any kind of issue. Um, helps with digestive distress. It helps um, if you've got any kind of an infection. Helps to get the good guys in there to eat it up. Um, if you get, you want to look for a high amount of good guys. So this is in the billions, and you want to look for something that's probably refrigerated um, to keep the guys alive and well in there. So that sums up the supplements that I currently am taking for my endometriosis. If there's something that I missed, something that's really helped you, I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. Um, until next time, sending you much love. Thank you so much for listening.